Uh, we'll make do with what we got, though. Yeah, there we go. I think we're almost out already. Yeah, 39. <laughs> you use walls pretty fast, even though they look like they take up a ton of space, they really don't. One wall. Okay. So, we are going to need to get to more wood again. But, before I do that, I would like to sell and buy some stuff from the gun dealer. So, what can we buy? Unholy arrows, musket balls, a flintlock pistol, the mini shark, and illegal gun parts. Okay, I do not need that iron ore, I do not need that silver axe, I do not need that silver hammer. I do not need mud blocks, or sand blocks, or shurikens, or cobweb. You can have the grenades, you can have the iron, and that. You can have half of these, or 12 of them. Um, I'll keep these, I'm keeping that. You can have these extra glow sticks, you can have the day bloom, and... Let's go get some... Oh, wait, you can have the musket. Can I buy the flintlock now? No, I need one more gold. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, go I'm going to buy the flintlock pistol. And I'm going to buy some ammo, too, for it. Because the musket just shoots way too slow. For my taste, anyway. Okay. Now we have the flintlock pistol. Let us buy some bullets. A good bit of them, too. Probably, I would say two stacks. No, three stacks. We're going to buy three stacks of them. Which means we don't need the flaming arrows or the wooden arrows anymore. Because now we're going to be relying on bullets more often. I'm still going to keep the unholy arrows, though. Because, I mean, why not? In case we happen to want to use our bow. But I doubt we will. But it's just one of those just-in-case situations. And now with these musket balls and these meteorite bars, we can make some meteor shots. Which is kind of why I love meteorites so much. Because meteor shots are my favorite type of ammo for them. So. Let us. Wait, four defense. Five defense. Nah. Okay, let's scroll all the way back here. And here is the meteor shot. Which is much better than musket shots. 9 range damage, 7 range damage. Extremely weak knockback. But this thing can bounce off stuff. So it may have a weak knockback, but it compensates for that by being able to be shot and hit two. have the possibility of hitting two things. Uh, what's a good demonstration of it? Okay, see how it bounced off the ground? That's what the meteor shot does. It allows it to be bounced off the ground. Ooh, how are we going to do this? Why is the hook in there? Um. Okay, I guess we'll start putting them in our second chest. So, meteorite bars are going to start over here, and I guess we'll put the hook down there. Why not? Or no, we'll put it right there. Night Owl Potion can go in here. The Tattered Cloth I'll put in here too because that's kind of uh, semi-important. Semi-important. Um, we can fight another Eye Cthulhu if we wanted to, but I don't really think I want to right now. Um, I think I'm just going to finish up these houses and I'm going to call it. How does that sound? You're probably groaning right now. Either that or you're happy because I'm letting you be free. But... I think I've been playing for over an hour now, and we got a quite a bit done. We beat the second boss of the game, we beat the first boss of the game for a second time, and we found two meteorites. We're just uh, racking up twos. This hand axe is pretty decent at killing things. I mean, I wouldn't use it as a primary, but it gets the job done. Die, I. So, 
So since now we have found Meteorite, and we have completed the second boss of the game, our next objective is to go to hell. Yep, that's right, we're going to hell. But, before we do that, we're probably going to need to fight the second boss for a second time again, because we need a full set of armor to go there, because we are not prepared to go there with them, um, just by missing one piece of that armor. I would like to have the full set of armor so we get the bonus for it. And I would probably like to get a pickaxe that would uh, be able to mine the house stone. How much wood do we got? 132? That should be good. Actually, I think I can make the pickaxe right now. Let's go see. If I can make the pickaxe right now, that'd be great. But I don't, I don't think I can. I mean, if not, we could just kill the Eye Cthulhu again and get uh, enough Deem Knight to make it. Why are there so many zombies out? Jeez. Zombie city over here. Uh, do I not have any torches or something? Okay, I just want to light this area up a little bit. Because it seems pretty dark. Okay, so how much demon I do I have? 13 demon? I don't think I can make a pickaxe with that. Maybe. Possibly. No. Oh, how did you all get up here? Door! Door! That was pretty cool, actually. Okay, so we are going to need shadow scales to uh, make the pickaxe, I believe. Yep. And I can make it, too. So, yep, we're gonna make that. And I don't need the acorns. Shameful nightmare pickaxe. At least it does a lot of... At least it's bigger. I guess. That's a good thing. I guess. But we're not really looking for stats on our secondary tools, even though they all suck. Look at that. They all suck. That's terrible. Wow, I am not getting the look of the draw with uh, creating tools. Okay, anyway, let's make some more wood walls and let's finish up our house. That should be enough. That should be plenty to finish. And we have an extra t trophy room now, too, I guess. If that's what you want to call our second floor. I actually don't know what we should put in our second floor. I actually really don't, because we have our chests down below, and we have our NPCs off to the side, and then we have our first room here. So I don't know what we should make this thing. We can probably get rid of this torch here. Yeah. So far, our... our uh... Oh, jeez. Goblin army is approaching from the west. Well, I guess we're going to do that for next time. Next time, we are going to be fighting an army. Our very first goblin army. And it is approaching from the west. So until next time, my name is Nikolhabi Bulin. Peace out.